So the ingredients for this is uh, I've got some I've got four posts, I've got my netting, spirit level so I can get the posts up more or less right. I've got a metal pole for getting the holes in the ground and a big mallet for driving the posts in. I've got some zip ties to fix the netting to the posts and I've got wire which I might use to help keep the posts lined up and in place. And of course the ever useful bailing twine for emergencies. So the idea now is to carry a load of kit up to the bees, including posts, netting and some wire. And we'll see if we can fix them up for at least the first bit of cover to combat these Asian warnings. So here's the line of the hives and it looks like we've still got the same problem. I can see the bees clustering at the hive entrance. My idea is to put a, a line of... That was just a clegg biting me. A line of... Welcome to the world of insects. A line of posts or a line of netting along the front of this with the hope that that'll force the bees to fly upwards and these predatory wasps, the hornets, will not be able to capture them. And in fact, I can see one right at the end there, a hornet currently working on a hive four along. Here he is, in that pattern in front of the hive that they fly waiting for a, a bee to come in and he will then capture it and kill it and there's another one right there. So I've set up um, Two, two posts, one at each end of the set of hives, and this one here. I'm just going to bang a nail in at the, near the bottom, and I'll attach a guide wire to that, so I can line up a piece of wire here, so I can line up the posts correctly, and then I fixed a. Um, nail on top of this post so that I can hang hang another wire off that and from that hang the net. So this is the typical typical behaviour I'm trying to see if I can manage to avoid by putting a net up in front of the hives. I hope I've got the net close enough the post close enough for the net because this chap here is out hunting and he's determined to get a bee coming in. My poor bees are therefore locked in at home, unable to do anything. More or less every repair job I do on the craft involves baling twine and a bowling knot. And we're doing this again because this I've got to anchor my wire to something, so I'm going to anchor it to this useful rosemary bush here using bowling twine, a bowling, a bowling knot on baling twine. Right, well, this is not going to get any awards from the Catalan Federation of Master Fencers because I've had to hand tighten it and tie it to trees and all kinds of bad things. But what I've tried to do is to create a structure on which I can then hang the net. I'm not going to hang it now because I think I have to wait till nightfall when these charming hornets head off home back to their massive nest, wherever it is, and leave me in peace. So I'm going to come back here at night time in the hope that you 
have gone home and I can hang up a net and leave you thoroughly confused in the morning. Right, it's dusk, so I should really put on my David Attenborough voice here, but I won't. Um, so I'm up here at the beehives and I can see no hornets, so hopefully we're all right. The bees are still crowding around the front of the hive though. But the hornets do seem to have gone off home. So I'm fixing on this mesh which has got five millimeter square holes in it which should be enough for the bees to get through but the hornet not to. I'm fixing it on with zip ties and I'll now fix it to the wires with zip ties. Here's the old bees. Still cooling gun. It is kind of magical working at this time of night with the bees. They are still flying, so I've just had one try and catch me, catch me out with a sting. But most of them are down here hiding. So I'm now putting the zip ties on the wire, top and bottom, so that the fence is held properly in place. Well, it's not going to win any awards for high quality fencing, but here we have a full length fence in front of the hive, which will hopefully at least make it trickier for the hornets to capture using their normal pattern of flight and hopefully will also encourage my bees to fly out of the entrance and up and out. So it's good night from me and good night from them.